In the Kazigao Corridor in eastern Kenya, the bush stretches as far as the eye can see. Monitoring the land is impossible without aircraft. Since the place has become a nature reserve, the wildlife has returned, and with it, poachers. Forest rangers patrol the area daily. Helicopters are used to move the men around. Their aim is to stop illegal hunting. More often than not, they arrive too late. The pilot has located another dead elephant and directs the men to it. It's the 30th elephant to be killed this year. The poachers use poison. It's more subtle than a gun. The poaching method which was used is a poisoned halo. They were using those poisoned halo. So it was eat from somewhere, it came and died here. It is not easy for us actually to find this thing the way it is. Hi, Eric. Yeah, fine, thank you. Sir. Rob Dodson has been leading the project for 20 years and built things up from the start. How long do you think it's been dead? Illegal ivory poaching is a growing threat for the reserve. Demand for ivory has increased significantly in the last year, mainly fueled by increase in ivory prices in China. Price of ivory per kilo has risen from $10 a kilo to $100 a kilo. One of the biggest challenges we have is to make sure that revenue from the carbon project goes into the communities to incentivize the communities to protect the wildlife for future generations. At the beginning of 2011, Wildlife Works got permission to sell CO2 certificates to people who want to offset their carbon emissions. 20 years ago, the corridor was used as farmland and for grazing cattle.